To add in a new product, go to the Products tab and then New Product. In step one, enter the basic info. Any required fields have red asterisks. First, enter a name for the product. I'm adding in a rose ointment. Next, choose a category from the dropdown. We can't add or change any of these categories and just need to choose the best fit for the product. I'm choosing body care for this one. Then, choose a subcategory that best fits from the dropdown. We can't add or change any of these either. I'm choosing moisturizer for this product. While the product brand isn't required, we highly recommend entering one to make it easier to take inventory and manage this product. In the product brand dropdown, we will find any brands we have already created in the system, along with the option to add a new brand. The description, ingredients, and other fields here are optional and for internal use only. The sales tax field only displays if the tax type settings in system settings have been set to flexible. It just means that we can create an individual tax rate for each product. And the number we see in our individual accounts, this is the local tax rate that was entered in system settings. Click continue to move on. Step two is where we add the product to the inventory. The settings entered here affect how the product interacts with other areas of Booker, such as point of sale, services, commission, and purchase orders. The SKU and barcode numbers are automatically generated by the system, but we can manually change these. And if we plan to use the barcode scanner to sell products, we want these numbers to match the same number printed on the retail products. We can choose a vendor from the dropdown so long as the vendor is already added to the Manage Vendors page. Choosing a vendor ties the product's inventory to purchase orders. Next, enter a product size and volume. This is only required if you wish to track the use of products within services. If you have different colors of the same type of item, entering a color here may be helpful for the business. Then we have a couple of options to enable. Enabling the professional option will make this product a professional product that can be used and tracked during services. Please note that if we choose this as a professional product, the size volume field must be added to use the product as a professional one. We can also make this product an add-on by enabling that option. This is typically reserved for popular or best selling products. Add-ons appear in the new appointment bubble just click the More tab in the top right and choose Add-ons. Here we can see a list of all the services and products that have been set up as add-ons. We can click Add to include it with the appointment. Next up, the pricing info. Enter the product's buy price. This is how much we paid for it. Then enter the amount we plan to sell the product for. To the right, we have the option to add commission for this product. This is tied to how employees are paid for selling products. This commission field can be set by a percentage or an amount. However, this commission field here only works with one product pay type. When we set up commission here in the product, employees that receive product commission will earn based off the compensation type that was chosen in the employee profile. In order to use that commission field in the new product setup, the pay type products in the compensation and benefits tab of an employee profile needs to be set to per product fee specified for each product. If that pay type is not being used, then leave this commission field set to none. Last step, add stock levels. Enter the amount of this product we currently have in stock. The reorder amount is the default quantity of this item that is reordered when creating a purchase order. Enter in how many items left until the stock is considered low. Enter how many items are left until we are prompted to reorder this product. PAR, which stands for Periodic Automatic Replenishment, is the target stock level that the business aims to maintain and meet customer demands. We can also receive alerts from Booker when each stock level is reached for a product. Step one is to check the boxes we want alerts for from here. Step two is setting these up in system settings, internal notifications. We can locate the orders product section and check the boxes for the login roles that should receive these alerts and save the changes. 
Once we enter in the stock levels, we'll have three options to finish getting this new product into the system. Click Cancel to not add the product to the inventory and return to the Manage Products page of the Products tab. Click Save and Add Another to save the current iteration and add a product variant. This allows us to use the same product description for a different size or color of the same product. Click Save to save the product in the system. And if we ever need to edit a product in the future, we can come to the Products tab to the Manage Products page and click Edit from the Actions column on the right. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.